Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss uh, dictionary based sentiment analysis. First, I will start with uh, what is sentiment analysis and uh, what is the basic idea followed in uh, sentiment analysis. Next, I will discuss uh, the different uh, dictionaries used in dictionary based sentiment analysis. Finally, I will discuss limitations of dictionary based sentiment analysis. First, we will see what is uh, sentiment analysis. Sentiment analysis is the task of uh, automatically classifying text according to the emotions they express. In most uh, simple scenario, uh, we want to classify a text as either positive, negative or neutral based on the content of that particular text. In more uh, complex situations, we would like to identify a specific emotion or compute the sentiment with respect to specific entity. For example, if the sentence is like uh, mobile display is good, rather than considering the entire sentence, we want to get the sentiment expressed by each word. For example, display displays one entity in that sentence. So we want to get the specific emotion or sentiment expressed by that particular entity in this case. Whatever the situation may be, sentiment analysis is widely used to analyze users uh, opinion about a particular brand movies, books uh, through uh, analysis of uh, online reviews or you can say that social media activities. That is whenever a new mobile or you can say that a product is launched or movies released, people used to post their reviews on uh, online platform. By considering those particular reviews, we want to get the people's opinion. That is the basic idea in sentiment analysis. There are a lot of different ways to perform sentiment analysis. And uh, sentiment analysis using dictionaries is one of the simplest one among all these. Sentiment analysis dictionary contains uh, information about uh, emotions or polarity expressed by words, phrases or concepts. So in dictionary, we have uh, words, phrases and concepts and uh, for each of these words, phrases and concepts, uh, some score is given. Based on that particular score, we can uh, categorize the sentence into either of those particular classes here. In practice, a dictionary usually provides uh, one or more score for each word. Uh, based on the situation, a word may be given one or more scores. We can use this particular score to compute the overall sentiment of the new input uh, statement and then uh, we can get the opinion out of that particular sentence. Now we will discuss uh, what are the different uh, dictionaries are available uh, to perform a sentiment analysis. The first one is uh, SentiWordNet. As the name suggests, uh, the SentiWordNet assigns scores to WordNet sensets instead of words. So in this case, uh, we will assign the scores to sensets rather than assigning it to words. In particular, each synset has both positivity and uh, negativity score. That is a particular synset. It has both the scores that is positivity as well as the negativity and that score lie between 0 and 1 in this case. This uh, resource that is uh, SentiWordNet is uh, having a lot of coverage which has more than 150k words in this case. Since uh, this dictionary works with uh, WordNet uh, synsets, it will assign different scores to the same word depending on its different meaning. For example, let us say that there is a word called as attractive. It may be having uh, more than uh, uh, two meanings. For example, if I consider the first statement, pleasing to the eye or mind, especially through beauty or charm. So in this case, uh, attractive has one meaning. And if I consider the one more sentence, like uh, having the property of a magnet or the ability to draw or pull. So this is also called as attractive. So in both the cases, uh, the sentiment is quite different. In the first case, the sentiment is, you can say that the positive one and the second one is actually does not have any sentiment. It is uh, having, you can say that the neutral sentiment in this case. So according to the situation, 
each uh, sin set will be having different uh, you can say that the scores here in the first case uh, you can see here the positive score is 0.875 negative is 0 and the neutral is also 0 but considering uh, the second one the neutral is high and uh, positive and negative is equal to 0 0 in this case uh, the dictionary looks uh, something like this uh, it contains uh, sin set id positivity score and negativity score for each term in this case for attractive if I consider this definition that is uh, pleasing to the eye or mind the positivity score is more and considering this having the property of a magnet the attractive uh, term has more uh, can say that uh, score to the neutral it has 0 0 for negative and positive orientation the second uh, dictionary is uh, senti words the senti words is a very popular uh, dictionary which is similar to senti word net and uh, it is derived from what you can say that senti word net uh, dictionary itself but in senti words uh, we assign sentiment score directly to the words rather than to sin sets we call uh, these are uh, prior uh, polarities that is polarity of the words independent of their context so we don't consider the context or the meaning of the sentence but we assign what we can say that uh, sentiment score to those particular words based on that we can perform the sentiment analysis uh, in this case uh, <coughs> we have more than 150k words uh, because uh, it derived from sentiwordnet as well as it has added few more uh, what you can say that the words from english dictionary in this case the third uh, dictionary is uh, vader uh, vader is a lexicon and a rule based sentiment analysis tool for uh, social media sentiment analysis the lexicon has been built manually by aggregating the ratings coming from 10 human annotators so this one that's a lexicon is uh, built uh, from by you can say that uh, 10 human annotators uh, they will give the scores for each and every word by aggregating those uh, scores a lexicon is built in this case because uh, this lexicon has been uh, built manually it contains uh, around 7000 words because if you consider uh, 150k words or something like that it is very difficult to build it so they have considered around 7000 words and then they have built this particular lexicon in this case one a very important part of vader dictionary is it not only contains the scores for the english words it also contains the scores for emojis as well as abbreviations so that's a very important part of this particular the lexicon or you can say that the vader uh, dictionary in this case uh, here i will show you a very simple uh, uh, vader dictionary you can see in the first uh, column we have something called as uh, the word in the second column we have the polarity in the third column we have something called as standard deviation and the fourth column we have something called as individual scores here out of these particular four uh, columns the first two columns are used for uh, sentiment analysis uh, the remaining two will not be used in any way here uh, you can see that particular uh, word a uh, same word is having different uh, polarity uh, using that particular polarity uh, you can do the sentiment analysis in this case the last two columns are usually used for uh, uh, doing uh, statistical tests on the given data set uh, so that you can perform uh, what we can say that better sentiment analysis in this uh, dictionary uh, one very important point we need to remember the score ranges from minus 4 to 4 rather than minus 1 to 1 in that case usually all the dictionaries uh, contain the score in the range of minus 1 to plus 1 but in this case uh, the scores will range from minus 4 to plus 4 here now uh, we will see the uh, limitations of uh, dictionary based uh, sentiment analysis using dictionary is likely the simplest possible way to perform the sentiment analysis however it has a lot of uh, drawbacks for example uh, uh, we, we take a sentence like uh, it gets very hot 
consider uh, let us say that this is to about a laptop then it is a negative sentiment because uh, the laptop is getting very hot uh, over here but if we talk about the same sentence is about the stove in that case it is a positive one so that is very important if if you have only this particular statement it's very difficult to come up with the sentiment score but uh, if you know uh, what is the context in which this particular statement was made then you can easily make what you can say that uh, the classification over here another one is uh, uh these systems have to correctly handle the negations because uh, the sentence may contain a not bad not bad is like uh, uh, can say that uh, it's a good word good not bad means actually it's a good so uh, if you use this particular dictionary based method they don't consider this particular thing they they consider bad word bad means what it is a negative but uh, actually it is positive because not bad means it is a positive sentiment in that case and the next very important thing is uh, usually text contains a lot of uh, sarcasm uh, which is really very hard to detect as well as uh, uh, handle so that is also uh, not been uh, handled by these particular uh, what we can say that uh, the dictionaries in this case based on these considerations if the training data is available uh it is usually more desirable to use machine learning based approaches which often outperform dictionary based method in this case i hope uh, you like the video do share this particular video with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching